Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming to the official grand opening of the Brandywine Virtual Cent the Brandywine Virtual Academy's Online Learning Collaborative Center. Um, I know it's a mouthful, and usually I make everyone keep names short, so I have only myself to blame for this one. Uh, it is my great pleasure to introduce Dr. George Fiore, the Executive Director of the Chester County Intermediate Unit. Thank you, Mary. What a beautiful day we got. So welcome, everyone. I'm really excited to be here today. And I almost began to think that this day would never come. Uh, we were originally scheduled to host this celebration in May of 2020. But you know, COVID-19. So we kept postposting, reposting, rescheduling all through 2020-21 school year. But we are finally here and able to celebrate the accomplishments of our staff, our students, and our district partners. And it is almost as if we were meant to be here today because it's National Online Learning Day. So throughout the past 19 months, the Brandywine Virtual Academy has been open and has been able to support our students and our districts when they, without a doubt, needed us most. In September 2019, we opened with 860 students. In spring 2020, when the schools were shut down with two hours notice, and when it became clear that the shutdown was going to last for more than two weeks, and perhaps the rest of the school year, BVA was here for our students and our school districts. And now BVA's enrollment jumped to over 5,500 students overnight. Think about that, 860 to 5,500 students. Over the summer of 2020, with the support of our professional development teams and IES, CCIU assisted school district staff with developing hybrid learning programs and full-time online learning programs. BVA was still in high demand in September 2020. We opened last September with 1,670 students, as many of our partner districts asked us to help fill the gap in their offerings. As our districts offered hybrid and in-person learning, they asked BVA to provide their online learning support. And as the 2021 school year approached, BVA staff prepared to open with students closer to the 2019 levels than the 2020 levels. But the Delta variant, the quality of BVA's program and the dedication of our staff provided our districts with a high quality option for students who were not ready to return to, to the school building quite yet. I stand here before you today, ready to cut our proverbial ribbon, which is to my right and to your left, for the new CCIU Online Collaborative Learning Center with the awesome news that our enrollment this September tops over 3,000 students. And I think that deserves a round of applause in itself from 860 to 3,000. So we're opening with a record-breaking 3,085 students from 32 districts across the entire Commonwealth. This could not be done without the hard work of many, many people. We are here today to celebrate their accomplishments and the Brandywine Virtual Academy's Collaborative Learning Center grand opening, which has been two years in the making. As testimony to the importance and need for this new location, we have many people in attendance who made their mark on public education in Chester County. I'm honored to welcome our many distinguished guests and want to take the time to give special recognition to a few individuals. First, to our Board of Directors. Thank you for your forethought, vision, and support in creating this new space in which our teachers and staff will provide the outstanding BVA programming that has brought in students from across the Commonwealth. So any of our school authority or, or CCIU board members, if you wouldn't mind raising your hand, waving, so we can show we have a great amount of support here. Thank you. To our county superintendents whose support, guidance, and recommendations are invaluable as we create and administer programs on a countywide basis that improve the quality of education for all of our students. Here with us today is Dr. Alan Fagley. Dr. Fagley, welcome from the Phoenixville Area School District. Thanks, Alan. 
Dr. Chris Marchese from the Avongrove School District. Thank you, Chris. And Dr. Will Stout from the Owen J. Roberts School District. Thank you, Will. I would also like to thank our CCIU leadership team and to Miss Mary Jean Curley, our Director of Communications and Learning Solutions, for her leadership in growing this program. In 2010, Mary was given the task to increase students from 10 to 50 students. I think you did pretty good, Mary. We're, we're, we're now at a staggering 3,085. Truly an amazing endeavor and accomplishment that could not have been achieved without the BVA leadership team of Mr. Chip Harper, Dr. Mark Slider, and Mr. Kevin Bowsey. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Congratulations. I would also like to recognize my predecessor, predecessor Dr. Joe O'Brien, for having the forethought to support this program and, and being really, really smart to allowing Ms. Curley to do this work. So doc, Dr. O'Brien, thank you. To all of our BVA and communication staff, without you, this would just be a nice building renovation. You demonstrate the true worth of this building through your work to tirelessly support our students and promote our organization. Thank you for the outstanding job you do day in and day out. Because of you, our students and our parents and partner districts know that they are receiving the best online learning instruction in the Commonwealth, taught by Pennsylvania State certified teachers who reside in their communities. To our information technology department, under the direction of Mr. John DeMillion and Mr. Greg Miller, while this building houses our staff and serves as a space for our students to come for our support, our IT department provides the infrastructure and backbone that is BVA technology. It is through their tireless efforts to maintain our, our online systems, laptops, and connectivity that our students can attend classes online, anywhere, anytime. They figuratively, figuratively created and maintain the BVA school building. To our facility staff members who have been vital contributors to what this building is today. Thank you, Mr. Joe Lubitsky, for your leadership and vision that brought this space to life. Mr. Lubitsky saw an empty warehouse and turned it into a state-of-the-art facility that will take our online learning program to the next level. Thank you to Paul Thompson and his team for ensuring the completion of this project. Thank you to Christy Zoltek for her planning and coordination of the furniture and equipment that you'll see shortly. And thank you to Jason Lickfus for coordinating the procurement of all bids for this beautifully done project. And I'll say it again, and last but not least, thank you to Dr. Joe O'Brien, my predecessor who's here with us today. And as executive director of CCIU, Joe saw the potential of online learning and had the vision that you see manifested here today. He saw the value of being able to provide school districts with an online learning option to offer their students so that students would not have to leave their home school district in order to take classes online. So I say thank you to everyone who made today possible. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating all of our, our team members, CCIU staff, our district partners, and we thank you. So here to assist this grand opening, our state senator, Carolyn Kamita. Ms. Bonnie Wolf, President of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Board of Directors, representing the Avongrove School District. Mr. Thomas Wolpert, Chairman of the Chester County School Authority, representing the Westchester Area School District. It is now my pleasure to introduce State Senator Carolyn T. Kamita, State Senator for Pennsylvania's 19th District. Senator Kamita. Thanks so much, George. And Joe, wonderful to see you again and be with you. I was saving that seat for you. Um, good afternoon, friends. Um, it is an honor and a delight to be with you today as we celebrate the opening of this collaborative learning center for the Brandywine Virtual Academy. Um, I want to uh, thank the superintendents who, who are here, the school board members, administrators, and of course, um, as George um, introduced, all of the, the teachers and staff here at the IU. Um, talk about a collaboration. Um, you really hit it out of the park. And um, 
as a teacher in the Octorera School District, right out of Westchester State College at the time. Um, my degree is in special education, and then I got a master's um, in gifted education, also special education. And one of the things that I learned early on, and you all know, is that every child, every student, has their own individual learning needs and learning style. And to have a virtual option and to have this wonderful collaborative learning center where people can, where the students can be online, they can also come here, meet their teachers in person, meet other students in person, and um, enrich what is already a stellar education is state of the art. And uh, I want to thank you uh, for all the children out there um, who need you and who need this opportunity. Um, you are going to help them make the world a better place. They will lead with their gifts and they will love learning um, for a lifetime. So I want to thank you all so very much. Um, take good care. Thank you, Senator Kamita, and thank you for taking time out of your very, very busy schedule. Uh, we understand Harrisburg is equally as busy as it is here in Chester County. It is now my pleasure to introduce President of the Chester County Intermediate Board of Directors, Mrs. Bonnie Wolf. President Wolf has been a, a school director for the Avangrove School Board and the CCIU Board of Directors for the past 17 years. She is an unwavering supporter of public education and I challenge you to find a more dedicated and caring advocate for children. She received her Master's of Education from Seattle University. In addition to devoting countless hours to public education, President Wolf also volunteers her time helping young women reach their full potential as a Girl Scout Service Unit Manager. Welcome, President Wolf. Thank you, Dr. Fiore, and thank you to everyone for coming out this afternoon. I'm gonna go off script a little bit, and I'm gonna give a shout out to our students who are doing the security detail today. I think they're doing a phenomenal job, and I just wanted to thank them. I know they can't hear me, but if we could give them a round of applause, that would be really good. One of the best parts of being on the Chester County Intermediate Unit Board of Directors is to be able to see firsthand the countywide partnerships that are formed between our IU, the school districts, and our community agencies. Whether it's for a preschool program for three to five year olds or a startup virtual academy for students across the county and beyond, we know that we can provide a richer experience for our students if we partner together, together to serve their needs. Today is especially gratifying because as a CCIU board member, I've worked closely with our Brandywine Virtual Academy program and I've seen how it benefits thousands of children. I've watched it grow from a program of 10 to 15 students when it first opened to a program that served a couple hundred students in the first few years to a program that now serves several thousand students. The growing trend in online education, especially during the pandemic when the entire country was in a lockdown, suggests that the United States e-learning market will continue to grow exponentially. In fact, between 2020 and 2024, the U.S. e-learning market could grow by $72.4 billion. While BVA's numbers aren't quite there yet, I am confident that by the end of this school year, we may be close, thanks to Ms. Ms. Curley. Online learning statistics show that this mode of learning is here to stay. In the coming years, we are likely to see advancement in the global online education sphere. And I will proudly say that Team CCIU and the Brandywine Virtual Academy stood on the forefront of this venture. It's very hard on days like today not to fall prey to the cliche, it takes a village. And while I struggle not to succumb to this tried and true metaphor, which I have used before and will no doubt use it again, I need to acknowledge that it does indeed take entire communities working together to ensure that our children receive the education they deserve. We are very fortunate to live and work in a county that regularly combines its collective resources to serve all our children. This evening, I would like to recognize several of those who willingly share in the work of raising our children. I especially want to thank the staff members of the CCIU, 
in BVA and our partner school districts. I would also like to thank my fellow CCIU board and Chester County School Authority members for their tireless efforts on behalf of our students. I also want to thank our parents for supporting our work and for being active and engaged partners in their children's education. BVA is success because of the staff of the intermediate unit work closely with the staff of our school districts to ensure every child who is enrolled is successful and is in the right learning environment to meet their needs. Together we can accomplish much good for our students and our communities. It is now my distinct privilege to introduce Mr. Thomas Wolpert. As chairman of the Chester County School Authority, Thomas provided leadership for CCIU schools since 2001. Tom is a graduate of North Penn High School and Villanova University. He is active in the community and has served as vice president and director on the West Chester Area School Board from 1999 to 2003. In addition, Tom has served on the Chester County School Authority since 2001 and has served as chairman or vice chairman of the authority for the past 12 years. Tom is counsel with the Spring Ford Chamber of Commerce and active with the Spring Ford Rotary. Please join me in, in welcoming Chairman Wolpert. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you, President Wolf. It's a privilege to be here today to represent the Chester County School Authority. Uh, it's a little known fact, a um, peculiarity of Pennsylvania law, that the intermediate units themselves cannot own school buildings. They can operate them, but they cannot own them. So when we talk about the CCIU schools, such as the Child and Career Development Center, or the Chester County Technical College High Schools, or the Brandywine Virtual Academy, we are really talking about schools that are owned jointly by all 12 Chester County school districts, and that's where the Chester County School Authority comes into play. The authority is made up of representatives of the 12 school districts that are able to acquire the land and build and own the schools that in turn the IU operates to provide countywide programs. In so doing, we provide educational opportunities for our students that a single school district would not be able to offer. By working together, by sharing costs, and by sharing expertise, we are able to ensure that all of our students get the education they deserve and more importantly, the education they need to be successful in school and life. Because we're charged with creating countywide programs and facilities, we often have to put aside our local needs and look at the county as a whole and what we believe best serves all the students in the county, not just in our home districts. I'm proud to say that the men and women that I work with in the school authority time and again are able to blend their local needs and interests with the needs of the students of the county at large to do what's best for all the students. It's hard work and long hours, but when we see the results of our efforts, it's worth it. By combining our resources and setting aside our individual interests, we have been able to create a state-of-the-art educational facility, and Brandywine Virtual Academy is the succeeding accomplishment of many accomplishments. As they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. I've been on this board for a long time. It has been a long series of excellent leadership that has created the very impressive structure that you see. Um, so we've created state-of-the-art educational facility that our schools would not have been able to replicate on their own. And as your eyes can see, no one school district could do this. This school is an example of the spirit of cooperation of our communities to come together for the betterment of our children, an instance where the whole is, is clearly greater than the sum of the parts. It's by supporting our educational infrastructure with joint programs that we're not only able to survive, but to thrive during this time of pandemic. Uh, think about it, because of the Brandywine Virtual Academy, during the shutdown, 5,500 students were able to continue learning at a moment's notice. This program, built by 12 districts, was able to provide educational services at the time of their greatest need. This will also provide students who work primarily online with a place to go where they need in-person support. They can come here and work with the teachers. It will provide our teachers with demonstration labs, which can engage the students and provide personal or online instruction in real time. Individually, we may not have the resources to provide all these opportunities, but collectively we can. Together, we shoulder the cost and provide our students, 
students with these opportunities that no one district could provide. And it's through that spirit of cooperation that we are here today. It is my privilege to represent the school authority. Please join me in recognizing the men and women who have worked so hard to help make today possible. If the members of the Chester School Authority uh, who are here today, if my speech says please stand, but we're all standing, please raise your hand uh, and be recognized. Thank you all. Uh, I would also like to take this moment to thank the staff of the Chester County Intermediate Unit, especially Dr. Fiore for everything he's done. I certainly acknowledge Dr. O'Brien who I've worked with for many years and before him with Dr. Bailey. Everybody had a part in building this. Uh, I want to thank Joe Lubitsky for his ability to bring projects in ahead of schedule and on budget and for, for uh, uh, Miss uh, uh, Mary Jean Curley, I didn't know your middle name, and her staff for creating outstanding online programming. I would like to thank our county superintendents, those who are here, uh, and all who, of course, couldn't be here, for all their efforts over the past 19 months to keep our students learning and to keep them safe. Um, thanks to all for their collective vision we are able to provide here Chester County students with the skills and knowledge to compete and succeed in the 21st century global economy. Uh, thank you to everyone who made this campus a reality. Thank you, Mr. Wolpert. And now we're going to move to the official ribbon cutting ceremony that has been two years in the making. So if you don't mind jo joining us in right by the, the ribbon there.